alley to that boss. Nearly a century ago, with the efforts of Mahatma Gandhi and other revolutionary leaders, India was starting to unite many regional movements into one national movement. The British government continued the repression of nationalists. But in March of 1919, they went one step ahead. Through the Anarchical and Revolutionary Crimes Act, popularly known as the Rollet Act, the government gave themselves power to shut down all political campaigns, meetings and rallies. Merely on suspicion, the police could detain anyone for a period of two years without a trial or appeal. Despite fierce opposition from every Indian member, this gruesome act was passed. Indians felt humiliated and angry. Against this backdrop, Mahatma Gandhi issued a clarion call for a nationwide civil disobedience hartal on 6th of April. In Punjab, people answered the call for hartal or strike with unprecedented enthusiasm. It became a platform for voicing their anguish against the prevalent issues. Popular and beloved Gandhian leaders, Dr. Satyapal and Saifuddin Kichlu, led the role at Satyagraha here. At this time, the camaraderie between the Hindu-Muslim communities was at its peak. And the protest against the British government were a sight to behold. The British government foresaw the seeds of a large-scale organized movement in its unity and decided to end it at its nascent stage. The authorities deceitfully arrested and deported Dr. Satyapal and Dr. Kichu. This infuriated the people of Amritsar. They took to the streets to protest against this unlawful detention, during which the police fired upon a peaceful procession, provoking attacks on railway stations, banks and government offices by the protesters. Both sides suffered casualties and severe injuries. To crush the voices of Inkalab and terrorize people into submission, the British brought in Brigadier General Reginald Dyer. He imposed martial law and deployed airplanes to survey gatherings across the city. Martial law restricted civil liberties such as freedom of meetings and associations. Gatherings of more than four people were prohibited. Uh, Nearly 20,000 people gathered at Jallianwala Bagh to celebrate Baisakhi and to demand the release of Dr. Satyapal and Dr. Kichlu. That day, something happened that changed the course of our freedom struggle. The age-old walls of Jallianwala Bagh witness. Stop!
response for his actions on 13th of April 1919 at John Malabar in Amrit. General Reginald Dyer on 13th of April 1919 at Jagamarabhan in Amritsar. The members of the committee are Honorable Robert William Hunter, Justice Rankin, W.F. Rice, George Barrow, Pandit Jagat Narayan, Chimalal Harilal Sekharwar, and Ahmad Khan. Let the process of court martial begin. Basic compassion was sufficient to allow the arm of God. The casualties would have been very much higher. What the name, what the name is, yeah. What reason had you to suppose? Chris Rankin, W.F. Rice, George Barrow, Pandit Jagat Narayan, Chimalal Harilal Sekharwar, and Ahmad Khan. Let the process of court martial begin. Basic compassion was sufficient to allow the arm of God. The casualties would have been very much higher. What the name, what the name is, yeah. Yeah. What reason had you to suppose that if you'd ordered the assembly to leave the park, they would not have done so without the necessity of your firing? Continue firing for <laughs> The shooting had started without any warning and continued till the troops ran out of ammunition. According to an estimate by the Indian National Congress, more than 1,000 had died and 1,500 injured. The news of the massacre spread like wildfire across the country. It encouraged many more to strenuously participate in the struggle for India's freedom. 
Rabindranath Tagore renounced his knighthood awarded by the British. Mahatma Gandhi also returned his Kesari Hind medal in the wake of this incident. It also transformed Congress's moderate cooperation stance into revolutionary non-cooperation. This incident exposed the true nature of imperialism disguised well under the facade of civilization. Jallianwala Bagh is a monument to our historic struggle for independence. It is a symbol of sacrifice. Sacrifice made at the altar of freedom by hundreds of unnamed and unadorned patriots. Patriots who carried the flames of revolution through the long and dark nights of oppression. Let us take a moment to pay our respects to those great souls.